That's something I want one of the listeners in the chat room to look up. Yeah, How many but I, different I, I, ways? I need, I, it's, it's no fun, though, when it's like, you know, when you're medically um, uh, challenged. So. Mm, I understand what you mean. But what I want to do is I want to ask everybody in the chat room. We're here for two and a half hours. Somebody in the chat room, find out how many possibilities there are for getting laid. And before we go off air, we're going to run down how many different possibilities there are to get laid. I want to know how many different ways you can possibly do it. That's an interesting thing to look up. I really do think that. Well, I'm going to sing happy birthday to you, but, you know. You want to sing happy birthday? birthday. Do, you want, do you want to sing it? You want to sing it? Go yeah, for it. I was going to sing it to you. Okay. Tante Gore Ate. Tante Gore Ate. Italian. Tante Gore Giovanni. Tante Gore YouTube video of the month. YouTube video of the month there. That will be downloaded so many different times. An Italian, an Italian version of Happy Birthday. Now, how many of you out there can say that you had an Italian version of Happy Birthday sang to you on your 28th birthday? Thank you so much for that, Kat. You're from, you're from Italy? You got, or you have relations from Italy or something? Yeah. I lived over there uh, for a while on and off for two, three years, and my family mm. came over the, on the boat. They're a bunch of wops came over on the boat. <laughs> Okay, so you kind of picked up the Italian heritage from there. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, we do have a backup here. Okay. Sorry. We got Sonny this time? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. You fixed your microphone. Thank you for that. How are you? Uh, I can be doing better. Sorry about that. The super Skype's acting up and uh, said I need to do updates. But, uh, you know, I got to do it. That's Internet for you, actually. Now you said you had a, there was word came in that there was a tweet that came in from a fan of mine or something. Yeah, I actually got it with a DM. As a matter of fact, uh, this is uh, coming in from Cobbler Sports. He was actually a loyal listener for my show. He says this is for your guest uh, Jay Clark. He says the question I have for him is a Spencer says what? A Spencer says what? Okay, what is a Spencer? First, I need to know what a Spencer is. What he means by Spencer? I just received what another. What does he mean by? Just received yeah, another DM. He, he says Spencer? he says you're supposed to say what? Like you don't get it. Okay, what? I don't. I don't. Well, I don't. That's the thing. I don't know what a Spencer is, but I would definitely give him an answer if he would describe for me what a Spencer is. I will definitely tell. Him, I will definitely give him an idea of what I believe or what the most attractive man believes a Spencer would say. Definitely. Now I just DM me. He just says, "Do you have? Haven't you ever seen the movie Wayne's World before, dumbass?" Oh, that, that's a nice uh, DM. Wayne's World. Okay, what we're going is we're going back to 1992, 1993. There were two different versions of Wayne's World, and I was very young. I remember little bits and pieces of Wayne's World, and I remember saying to myself, "You know, this movie. I don't know why it's so so talked about so much." It was definitely one of those movies that was overrated, and that that definitely explains uh, that definitely explains uh, where this where this reference is kind of not being linked to me because I I, I remember just bits and pieces of Wayne's World, so I do apologize for that. That was the same year that Dennis the Menace came out, and I was the age I was within the age demographic of you know being more into Dennis the Menace back in ninety two ninety three than I ever was uh, a Wayne's World fan. Uh, but I do, I do thank you for that question. And if you have any other questions that are more updated, uh, I will definitely answer them for you. Here's one yeah, right here. He says, "What kind of music do you like?" This is coming in from Frank D. Orange County. What kind of music do I like? Okay, the most attractive man likes uh, music that. Well, there's two different types. I like one type is music that you kind of, that make you think of, that makes you think about life, um, like country music. Uh, you know, sometimes a scattered pop song will, will make you think about life. Uh, but there's, there's also this other type of music that I like. I like this really fast pace music because you never know the possibilities that a, what, a, what a woman will possibly do uh, when she's dancing to fast paced music. You never know. 
Uh, I have uh, DJed for a number of years with one of my good friends, and it's just so fun. You know, you start off, you play these slow songs so people can fluctuate to the bar, and the bar mm-hmm. can make money, and then, then about 11, 12 o'clock, you start playing this really fucked up stuff, right? <laughs> and when you start playing this really fucked up stuff, people start doing the most insane things. They're coming up, they're rubbing up against you, they're pulling you off the DJ booth. Then you don't even know where the fuck you're to, you know? And you feel like passing out, but you keep going, you keep going, because you're just amazed at how these girls are doing so, these, this, so much unthinkable, unimaginable stuff. I love the fast-paced music, man. I love mm-hmm. the, the, the top 40 charts. I love the... The Rick D's and the Casey Casins of the world that they, they did it back in the, the uh, early thousands, and now we've got this Ryan Seacrest. I love that kind of music and this really fast-paced stuff because you never know how many endless possibilities there are out there until you actually play and, and, and follow it as much as what I have over the years. Fast-paced stuff and country music is really what I'm into. Oh, nice. oh man. That's an amazing thing. And I'll tell you, if you've never assisted a DJ or never DJed yourself, it's an incredible experience. It's Come on, really karaoke. Karaoke? Karaoke's fun. I like karaoke. I think karaoke uh, is, is, is a whole lot of fun for people. I, I, I like the, the, the crazy train stuff and the Johnny Cash stuff. Um, that, that's, that's what I'm pretty good at singing, the, the Johnny Cash stuff and the karaoke stuff. Um, like the, the Ozzy Osbourne music and stuff like that. Anything like uh, Gangsman Style or Carly Rae Jepsen or Selena Gomez or Taylor Swift, there's no way I'm singing that uh, unless I'm like literally ossified or something and, and don't know what I'm singing. But when it comes to Ozzy Osbourne and, and uh, uh, Johnny Cash and things, I can kind of I can really do that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you don't know, karaoke comes to us from the Japanese and. It, Big shout out to Japan. I really love uh, the, the best things that ever came out of Japan. Were uh, ka- was karaoke and chopsticks and rice. Those are the <laughs> best things that ever came out of Japan. Anything else I don't know, because Japanese people are really screwed up. I've had the opportunity <laughs> to interview a lot of people from Japan, uh, and who have worked in Japan on the independent circuit. And uh, you know, just getting that chance. I uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would ever want to spend a couple of weeks in Japan. I really don't. Japan is probably one of the most unpredictable places I've ever had a chance to meet anybody from or, or to work with. And, and I do thank people for the chance of getting the opportunity to, to do that. Uh, but I don't know if I'd ever want to do it on a regular basis. Mm. I do know that. Yeah, before I let Wacko Bob take over, uh, Mr. Clark, I have one more question. Actually, uh, you mentioned country as well as part of your music that you like listening. Uh, you're not, are you, uh, by any chance, a bit of a maybe a heavy metal type guy as well, some with a few groups out there that maybe you like? I might be. I, there's, there's, there's always a chance that I will explore new avenues. Um, heavy metal, I never, I never really believed that heavy metal music was was really music. It, it, it is music to a certain extent. Let me clarify that. It's music to a certain extent. But mm. there are these indie there are these indie bands out there that think screaming and yelling on a microphone like blah, 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 that's music. That's not music, man. That's that's just somebody trying to desperately get noticed when you scream and you ball on a microphone. Uh, if you put lyrics together and you actually have a beat that makes sense when it comes to heavy metal music, more power to you. But when you scream and you bawl and probably one word out of probably 50 makes sense, you know you have issues there. So I'm kind of half and half on the heavy metal thing. There's a comment in the chat room. Uh, oh you know, apparently, Clopsy's stepdaughter has uh, huh, pretty much uh, <laughs> picked up on what you're all about. And uh, and uh, both Kat and Sonny are my witnesses to this one. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> and it says, my, my stepdaughter is saying, you will never be be Leo, Leo Howard. <laughs> sure. I will never be Leo Howard. Now, what, does he, what, does, what do they mean by that? Leo yeah, Howard? Yeah. Me, meaning, she, I, will never I guess, be Leo. Uh, because her, her stepfather, uh, Clopsy, is uh, pretty much into martial arts in a big way. And uh, I guess uh, her being nine years old just discovered kicking it. And uh, Leo Howard, you know, of course, is uh, a star of kicking it. <laughs> martial arts, martial arts was something that I was really afraid of. I, I am terrified <laughs> of martial arts. I, I, 
I, I don't know if I'm more terrified of martial arts or actually attempting martial arts and breaking my neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think you'll ever see me do anything like martial arts. Just like the other day, I was talking to a young girl who probably lives about 20 minutes away from me the other day. And she said to me, you know, are you a wrestler? And, I said, and then, you know, I, I started thinking to myself, you know, why do you think that kind of stuff about me? You know, people make all these martial arts references and these MMA references to me. And, I, you know, I've never actually, I, I've covered the sport and the different concepts of it for years and years and years, but I've never actually attempted to do anything like martial arts or MMA or kickboxing or wrestling. And I don't think that I ever will. And I think that if I did attempt something like that, that would be a big draw. I think people would just come there to see me get my ass kicked uh, more than actually win a match. I, I really do. Martial arts, I'm kind of out on. Heavy metal music, I'm kind of out on. But anything like pop music, uh, you know, country music, anything like that, I, I like. I even like some of the old-fashioned stuff, like the the uh, one and a Judds and the uh, the Dolly Partons of the world. I think I think that kind of stuff is is cool too. I I especially like the Achy Breaky Heart uh, songs that uh, you know still live forever. I still have an old Billy Ray Cyrus eight track tape that I I keep and I cherish because that was one of the first songs that I actually liked years ago. Uh, was it was a was a Billy Ray Cyrus song, and and it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> I still do the karaoke no, version. Be... Do I still do? I still do the karaoke version of uh, Billy Ray Cyrus's "Achy Breaky Heart." Every once in a while, you'll hear me sing that at a local establishment or something. Still get well, people gonna... rising it. No, we're going to do a classic here, and um, and um, we're going to do a classic that hasn't been heard for a while. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I think we need to play, and I think, and I think it's time that this classic uh, come back for everyone to see. Uh, you know, we talked about um, different stars and whatnot here, but uh, let's um, let's do this one here that I think really has to be done. This one here is Jonathan Clark comparing himself to the Fonz from Happy Days. <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. I am Jonathan Clark, and I'd just like to state for the record, I know every single woman's dream out there.